so now we're here at the Coral View uh, booth looking at Wave Engine, and Don is here to explain what Wave Engine is and what it's all about. All right. Hello, I'm Don with Coral View, and this is our Wave Engine. Uh, it's part of our Hydro series, it's the first part of our Hydro series, and it is a multi pump, multi manufacturer uh, pump controller, primarily intended for flow pumps. In this particular case, we're direct driving four pumps the Octopulse 4, the Gyre 350, Octopulse 2, and an Ice Cap 3000. But the list of pumps that's available is fairly extensive. In the direct drive configuration, we actually have a little cable here that adapts the wave engine itself to directly driving the pump heads. By doing that, you have a single power supply and a single unit that replaces all of the stuff down here. Uh, this is kind of our trash bin of all the stuff that we didn't use because of this. The pumps are controlled and managed through a uh, app that you can run on iOS or Android. Some of the features of the system include synchronization between multiple units. So if you have several wave engines, they all synchronize with each other. In fact, right here we're running this end of the tank with one wave engine, the other end of the tank with a separate wave engine, and that giant abyss pump on that tower over there is running on a third one, but they're all synchronized with each other. The, uh, this particular wave engine is driving four pumps. The one on the other end of the tank is running 11 pumps using zero to 10 volt control as well as RF control of the Ecotech Vortex series. One of the major features of this system is that you can take all sorts of dissimilar pumps like for example the Gyre and an Ecotech and run them as a pair in a, I'm sorry, a Gyre, yeah, a Gyre and a Vortex, run them as a pair running a particular pattern. So with most pump controllers, you're stuck with two of the same brand or even same model of pump. Yeah. But with this, you can split it between different types of pumps, different flow patterns and so forth. Uh, the Hydros itself, the wave engine is in a uh, industrial enclosure with industrial connectors. So it's pretty darn splash proof. We're not gonna call it waterproof. You wouldn't wanna dump it in your sump. I like what you've done, getting rid of all of those cables. That's a big issue that we find ourselves in when we're hooking up a whole bunch of pumps. Yeah, my aquarium has got a nightmare under it, and they all do anymore. I was looking at one of my friend's systems, and he has 28 bricks. Oh, wow. Behind, the power bricks behind the thing for lighting and pumps. And, uh -huh. So anything we can get, do to get rid of some of that is, is going to help, I believe. Yeah, definitely. And um, the way that the cables lock in there, they're not going to get any pull. They're not going to fall out. They're all locked in, screwed in, industrial type connectors. In fact, these are um, actually used on aircraft to a large degree. They're kind of referred to as aircraft connectors. Okay. And they're very rugged. Uh, the whole case is, is sealed. Yeah. It's got a gasket on it. Okay. And they're all controlled by an app. So not only can you control different types of pumps, there, you have different presets in the app that you can program uh, like you were talking about synchronizing them or they can offset each other. Yes, yeah, we've got numerous presets, um, different patterns and so forth that can all be controlled here from the app. In fact, if you go into the presets here now, we may be a while because our internet here is abysmal, but okay, there we go. Uh, hello, there we go. And all the different wave patterns that can be generated. You can set up dozens of these presets, activate them at different times of day, the system can actually run eight presets at the same time. So you can be running one pair of pumps doing this pattern, another pair of pumps using that pattern. Most people don't. I mean, generally, you only need one at a time, but you can do that. Uh, we also have a 0 to 10 volt input, which is connected on the other end, that allows a, a master automation controller, such as an, uh, an Apex or something like that, to switch the uh, wave engine into feeding mode when the... When the um, Apex goes into feeding mode or water change mode. It can also, you can use the zero to 10 volt outputs on the Apex to directly run pumps or to sort of serve as a master volume control for a pattern. So it can ramp one of our patterns up and down using outputs coming from an automation system like a Reef Angel or a, a, an Apex or something like that. Very cool, so for all those tank automated, automation people out there, this is definitely a way to go, not only to clean up your cables, but to control and operate any type of pump you want, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. And we'll be expanding our pump line as we go along. But I've got a list I can give you of, of the current pumps that we support. And 
that'll be expanding. Of course, any zero to 10 volt pump is automatic, but uh, the direct drive pumps, we've got about, I'd say 10 or 11 of them now, and the, um, uh, the RF pumps is pretty much the Vortec line at this point. Okay. And the and the price point for this? This will be 350 retail with the uh, unit and a power supply and uh, the little adapter cables. You need one of these for each pump, uh, each direct drive pump. They're going to be on the order of $12 retail. Very nice. So awesome high-tech stuff here from Coral View at Reefapalooza. Thank you so much, Don. <laughs>